Hey everybody, in today's video we have a lot to talk about. There's been discussions about the season 3 length being 6 months, the new loading screens on Halo Infinite, some Halo community members got their hands on several files from the new Battle Royale game mode, which they decompiled and were able to gain access to a lot of information. The new Halo Infinite Insider, which is probably going to be for the co-op campaign flight test, was the new campaign FX artist who said he's really excited to start from the beginning. So let's jump into it. So first and foremost, season three, six months, is it true? Now I asked a lot of people who do notable leaks to other community members who actually look at the data as 343 is updating things. And it was honestly a mixed bag. Some were saying three months, other people were saying six months. And the reason why I'm saying this is it's really important to take all of these rumors with a grain of salt because until 343 confirms it, and with how much things change with internal development, nothing is set in stone. Unishek actually liked a tweet saying, unverified rumors cause so much unnecessary damage and false expectations in the Halo community or games community. I know if season three was six months long, a lot of people, myself included, would be very disappointed. For that reasoning alone, I think 343 would do everything in their power to make season three, three months long because they know how upset people were about a second season, season two being six months long. Next up, we have Forrest Baker, the new lead campaign FX artist at 343 Industries. He said he's excited to work with the team to push our new FX to the next level and take on the challenge of leading an FX team from the very beginning. This more or less means that Halo Infinite campaign DLC hasn't even been started yet, which would mean it's quite a long time away. To some more exciting news, we got a new loading screen on Halo Infinite. Unfortunately, like Standard Ace did a video, and I'll show it on screen now, they didn't actually remove the old loading screen. They only overlaid a new JPEG on top of it. Come on, 343, what are you guys doing? Thankfully, the community has come to the rescue and check out these awesome loading screens. Halo.API has actually made these amazing loading screens when you're loading into a game with art from the Halo community, and they look fantastic. They look so good, I had to include it in this video. I'll be playing it on screen now for you guys to see yourself. It says the game mode you're loading into, everything. So if you're a streamer and you want to use it yourself, links will be in the description. It's currently in beta, so it will get better over time. To the big news of the day, and we got a lot, and I mean a lot, of new Halo Infinite Battle Royale details. I'm just gonna add as a disclaimer that this is not the final version of the mode, they're still working on it, so it is subject to change. With that said, this is what was found in the files. We already know that there was free-for-all, duo, trios, and squads. They will not all be live at the same time, but it allows for 343 to kind of mix and match the playlists over time. It'll be 60 players, it was stress tested to 100. How does the game mode actually play? You would search for a normal game, and I'm just gonna read this word for word for what they've said. You begin the game in a lobby, so several assets can load, similar to what you'd have in PUBG or Fortnite, roaming around with other Spartans. Once the game is ready, your teleporter transitioned to a ship, from which you're able to drop on the map. Drop pods, the ones used in ODST, are mentioned as ways to drop on the map seems that the game would allow for the option to drop in a place selected directly without you having to control the drop pod itself. There are several point of interest on the map, and these aren't just locations, but actually objectives to reach and achieve, so you can gain new points, unlock new tiers, and get better equipment. In the code, they found several type of objectives. Some are similar to contracts from Call of Duty Warzone. Some of these are capture and control a base slash zone. Oddball, keep an objective with yourself for a certain amount of time. Supply run, bring an element to a point. Alpha then Bravo, so you can unlock the loot. While you're doing one of these objectives, players around the map are notified of what you're doing, so then you have to fight all the players off and defend the objective. Completing these objectives and eliminating other players will grant points that you can then spend in stations to select the weapons, vehicles you want to use. Completing these objectives will also grant you a special key, containment key they think is the name, and you will need four of them to access very high tier loot. If they think it's been designed like this, so then players aren't camping and actually forced to move around the map. And I think that's a really good idea. Next up, they move on to how to move around the map. These are the vehicles that are currently in the files. Again, subject to change depending on how things go. The Warthog, a Mongoose, Razorback, and a Falcon. I so hope the Falcon makes a return to Halo. That would be so cool. As always, how does the game end? The Circle slash Tempest, it's actually called a Tempest, will be closing more and more. 
forcing players to get closer and closer until one team is victorious. Some extra little tidbits of information you guys would be interested in. Radar is completely gone. There is no radar. A backpack is mentioned, but they don't know if it's an inventory system or something else. You select the weapon you want with your points. It's not a linear path like last Spartan standing. You could be able to upgrade your weapons, but they don't know how, it was just mentioned. The tactical map from the campaign should be back showing you a 3D representation of the map with elevation. So what do you think guys? What do you think of Halo Infinite's Battle Royale? Big shout out to Bathrobe Spartan, Halo.API, and everyone else who helped compile information. If you guys wanna stay up to date with new stuff that is being released in the community, everybody I have spoken about in today's video will be in the description below. But thank you guys for watching, hopefully you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.